Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be one that I have kind of been planning for a really long time, like literally like three or four months. But now that I'm eating healthy, I figured now would be a perfect time to show you what I eat throughout the day. <clears throat> now, I'm going to let you know it's not always like this way. This is just Monday, but usually I stick with the same stuff. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so this is just an easy meal that I went to. I'm going to the gym this morning, so I wanted to have a lot of protein. So I've got like some egg whites with pepper on it and some turkey bacon. I got four slices because I'm trying to get as much um, protein as possible for the start of the day. Um, I got a cup of egg whites here. Um, but you can go with the serving is on the... Um, carton or you can use like whole eggs or whatever your little heart desires but this is what I'm going to be eating for my first meal which is breakfast also while I was cooking I was drinking my pre-workout here I've got just a little swallow left um, which I'll probably finish up while I'm eating um, but usually I'll just stick to well that's not a good example <laughs> to some water and just kind of stay hydrated while I eat and yeah. <laughs> For breakfast, I had 324 calories altogether, 0.8 grams of carbs, 8.8 .8 grams of fat, and 42.2 .2 grams of protein. Okay, so I'm home from the gym, and now I'm going into the bag of power bars to kind of figure out what I want to grab for a quick little snack. I think I'm going to take the start chocolate coconut one from Pure Protein. And, uh, yeah. So I decided with my protein uh, bar, I was going to drink a protein shake. This is just the strawberry flavored from Body Fortress, if anybody was curious. Okay, for this um, snack, it was 420 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein. So we're here at Zaxby's. I just got me a grilled chicken Caesar salad with like lemon vinaigrette stuff on it and I already plugged it in uh, and I'll tell you what the macros is in a second. So for lunch my calorie intake is 329, 24 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 17 grams of protein. So this is it. I'm going to pick off these little bread things so I don't have as much carbs. So yeah, that's what the salad looks like. I'll probably eat about half of it and save the rest of it. We'll see.
so here's my meal for the next for dinner. Um, I kind of fell asleep for a few hours, but this is what my dinner consists of. So I have some Brussels sprouts and some veal with some salsa on top of it. Kind of already ate some of it, but it's really good. Okay, so I wanted to come in before I show you the macros for my dinner. I just wanted to let you know I did snack a little bit on those harvest chips. Harvest something. Anyway, they're the mango lime. Um, I only snacked for like maybe like one serving full while I was like waiting on my, my meal to get done in the microwave. So I just wanted to let you know on on that that way you guys know like that snack um caused um my dinner to be a little bit more high but if you were just to eat the um veal and the um, brussels sprouts it would have been a little bit lower um you can add more calories by putting like like i did with salsa or whatever salsa is not that much though it's like only like 10 calories um but it's just like a little add-on or if you want to add on other things like I don't know a salad or whatever way that you could I just kept mine basically like simple tonight um since it's kind of late um I didn't want to like I wanted to eat something but I didn't want to like eat a whole lot um for dinner because I still have uh my like night snack or whatever my after dinner snack which usually consists of like maybe a popsicle or I don't really know what I'm going to do right now um but we'll see okay so here is dinner um it's two, 291 calories 25.8 grams of carbs 11.9 grams of fat and 23.1 grams of protein so one thing I forgot to do for dinner is to record me eating dinner, but, um, yeah, sorry about that. I will promise I'll do better with these things in the, down the road, but, um, but yeah. Next, I got this, and this is probably going to be the last meal. It's a sugar-free fudge sickle. Uh, <clears throat> um, it's just kind of like if I want something sweet. Without like the sugar and uh, and all the calories. Really good. That fudge sugar was 50 calories, 14 grams of carbs, one grams of fat, and three grams of protein. All right, so the grand total is 1414 calories, 97.6 grams of carbs. 50.7 grams of fat and 142.3 grams of protein. Okay, so I want to do an overview of today's meals and I also want to do an over or I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my healthy lifestyle, what I am restricted to and stuff. So today I'm just going to like do kind of like a final thought sort of thing. Instead of Jerry Springer, it's Little Mama's final thought. Um, I did pretty well. Um, I'm not going to eat no more. Um, I think that I've exceeded all that I can as far as eating wise. Um, tonight I'll probably just, you know, stay up for a few more hours so that like a lot of the food that I just ate digest and then, you know, I'll go to bed. Um, now, this is what is supposed to be what I'm allowed to have. First off, I'm allowed to have 150 grams of protein a day. So today I got up to 143 grams of protein. So I came close. It is so hard for me to get my protein in. I don't understand why, but I know... I know now that, like, if I add more chicken, if I add more, like, <clears throat> lean meats and stuff like that, that builds it up um, a lot. So, if you are trying to get your protein in, definitely stick to lean chicken, turkey, 
you know, there's all sorts of kinds of meats that are good for you that you can, like, build up your protein with. There are protein supplements that you can do, like protein shakes or protein bars. Um, but those are more high in carbs, and you have to be careful with those. Um, now, carbs, I'm only allowed 100 grams of carbs a day. So, I only allow myself to, like... Depending on when I go to the gym, I allow myself to have more of my carbs at the beginning of the day when I work in the afternoon, work out in the afternoon. And then if it's in the morning time, then what I'll do is I'll have like a low carb meal like that's like based on protein and stuff like that. And then after I get out of the gym, I will eat a more high carb meal, if that makes sense. So that, you know, since my body is still kind of, you know, my blood is pumping and my heart is, you know, keep, is still, you know, going, you know, that's the perfect time in my head that that'll work out right. Now, as far as the fat consumption, I'm not really sure what I was restricted to. I think I was restricted to like 20 grams, but I really don't, um, watch that. Um, I know a lot of people say you have to, but for me, I burn a lot of, like, I've been losing a lot of weight with the way that I've been doing my meals now. So I don't think I have to change that too drastically. I just kind of say, okay, well, keep yourself like. I don't know, under 50 or under 60 grams. Um, I think it's 20 grams, but that he put me on or 25. I'm not really sure. I have to look back on it, but I have a coach. So he tells me my, my diet. He tells me what my workout routine is and then I do it. You know, that's what it is. And then as far as calorie consumption, I'm allowed 1700, but as of today, I didn't reach it at all, which is fine. Um, I don't feel like I need, you know, just because you are under at the end of the day doesn't mean that you have to like keep continuing to eat because you can mess up your carbs. You can mess up your, um, your protein or you can mess up your fats even. And especially if you're on a, on a diet like I am, um, I try to stick with, um, fresh vegetables or frozen vegetables. I try to have a little bit of fruit during the day, but I try to have that early in the day, not at night I, because of the whole sugar and the carbs and stuff like that. It just doesn't play around well. And then I also, um, I also eat lean meats. You know, I try to get as much protein in, you know, I just kind of have like a really nice, like clean diet. Like if I decide that I'm going to eat any type of carbs, whether it's like rice or oatmeal, it's like the good carbs. It's not really like terrible carbs, if that makes sense. Like I don't snack on candy as much. I don't, um, snack on like really greasy fried foods. Like I, I cut everything out. I drink lots of water. Um, that is how you manage to stay in with your diet. Now you can do this diet. You can, you know, eat fried food and all that and stay under what you, you know, under your, your thing. But in my opinion, I don't think you're going to get as well of a result as if you just like had clean food all, all the time, if that makes sense. So I hope that this video kind of helps you out. Maybe you can get some ideas as far as like meal prepping. Maybe you can get some ideas on maybe your diet or lifestyle or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I hope that you enjoy this video and definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Um, I will be every now and then doing more and more and more videos like this. Um, I'm trying to get my workout video together, but it's kind of hard when you go to the gym. Um, I'm also going to try and I have a, um, grocery haul for you guys. So stay tuned to that, or you might already see it by that, by then, by now. Um, so yeah, like I always say, whether you're dressed up, dressed down, you're beautiful. Bye.